toes are a fairly common occurrence after a stroke. In the same way that the hands and fingers can become flexed and balled up after a stroke, so can the toes. And it has to do with the brain's inability or difficulty with successfully communicating to the rest of the body. So with that said, today we're gonna to go through a gentle stretching and workout routine aimed at improving curled toes. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is a gentle warm up. So we are going to start by bringing the toes out, separating them, and then bringing them back together pushing the toes out and bringing them back together. If you don't have that exact movement, don't worry, just try your best. While we're warming up a little bit, I wanna talk more about curled toes. So the more formal name that you might hear in doctor's offices is claw toe. You may also hear the terms hammer toe or mallet toe. Claw toe usually happens because the foot muscles become hypertonic or spastic. They have a really high muscle tone. And those foot muscles are bigger than the toe muscles. Um, so they kind of override the toe muscles because the toe muscles are weaker. And so what ends up happening is you get that curled clawed toe effect. Now there are two different types of clawed toe, rigid and flexible. Rigid means that they're immovable, maybe really painful to move. Um, and flexible of course means that you can move them. This video is for those of you with the flexible claw toe, meaning you can move them. Rigid usually requires more intervention um, other than just exercises and stretching. Which actually brings us to our first exercise, which is a toe extension stretch. We're gonna use the unaffected hand to gently push each of the toes back, back, back into extension. As with any of my exercises or workouts, if you start to feel significant pain, um, significant tightness, uh, you may wanna back off on how much pressure you're putting into that stretch. And importantly, I usually recommend for these stretches to hold for at least 10 to 30 seconds. You may have noticed I haven't let up on this stretch yet, and that's because I wanna hold it for a full 30 seconds. Of course, if that becomes too painful for you, you can back off and work your way up to longer periods of time. All right, let's move into our second exercise, which is toe taps. So I'm gonna be showing you up here on this mat. You will likely wanna have your feet down on the floor, but again, I just wanna give you a nice angle of what I'm doing here with my toes. So toe taps are when we are bringing the toes back and then tapping. You can kind of think of it that you want like this toe pointing back towards your nose, right? Toes towards your nose. And so we're bringing the toes back and tapping forward. Good. Now for claw toes, you may also want to think about talking to your doctor or therapist about splints or kinesio taping strategies that can be helpful to deal with curled toes. And sometimes Botox can even be effective for curled toes as well. But like I mentioned, that is a conversation to have with your doctor or neurologist. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to our third exercise, which is toe grips. So this is gonna be prepping us for the two harder exercises that come after this. We're gonna do toe grips. So again, you're, you might be doing this on the floor. You're gonna try to dig your toes down into the floor and then you're gonna try pushing them out. Good, curling them under, pulling really tightly, and then pushing out again, fantastic. Curling in, pushing out, curling in, and pushing out. Keep it going. Let's try it again. In and out, give me one more. And then we're gonna move on. Curling in, digging those toes in, and pushing out. Fantastic. We're moving on to towel toe curls. So for this one, I'm just gonna use my little blanket here. You can use a towel, you can use a washcloth, whatever floats your boat, but you're gonna try to straighten it out a little bit. And you're going to work to try to gather up that towel, washcloth, whatever, in your toes and then push to straighten it back out. 
So you're grabbing up and then you're pushing it down. So you can see how the floor grip exercise or the toe grip exercise helps to kind of prepare us for this one. You're gonna push it back out, curl it up and out. You may not have this much movement. If your toes are starting from here, what you can do is try to start by just pushing out the towel and then curling them back in. Pushing out just slightly and curling back in. All right, we're moving on to the last exercise in this set, which is toe pickups. Now I've got cough drops here to show you because a lot of people, most people probably have some cough drops hanging out around the house. You can try this with marbles, scrabble pieces, anything that's kind of small and able to be picked up by your toes. So what you're gonna do is try to pick up that cough drop or whatever with your toes and then drop. You wanna make sure that you're kind of switching that placement around so you're not just doing in the big toe but in the smaller toes as well. Then maybe you go straight for the middle toes, kind of trying to turn to the camera so you can see and then dropping going to the big toe, dropping, good. Again, this is one of the hardest exercises. Um, if you don't have the ability to do that yet, all I want you to do is just try to see if you can get it placed under there. And then can you actively try to grip it? Can you actively try to push away? Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and take just a short little rest break here for one moment. Ooh, get a little stretch in. And now we are going back to our first exercise, which is actually that toe extension stretch. So bringing that affected leg over and we're going to use your unaffected hand to bring those toes out and back. Now you may feel more comfortable kind of pulling the toes back like this. You may feel more comfortable pushing the toes back like this. Whatever is more sustainable for you, but we're just gonna sit here and hold this stretch. Another gentle reminder that if this does start to cause sharp, intense pain, please stop and back off, even if you have to back off that extension a little bit. Now, if you're starting from this position, you can even just try to get it out a little bit. You don't have to bring it all the way back like I'm doing. Every little piece that you can get to is progress. So even if it's just a little push back, that is a-okay, hold it there. All right, let's move on to our second exercise again, which is toe taps. So I'm gonna again be showing you on the mat, you likely have your foot on the floor. Toes are gonna be brought back, like they're pointing towards our nose, and then tapping. You can try to even, to make this a little harder, you can try to do this more quickly. The more control that you start getting back, likely the, the more quickly you'll be able to do this. But if you're not even there yet, if you're starting here, just try as best as you can. Can you get them up a little bit and pull them back? This is sort of an active toe extension exercise. We're actively trying to get those toes back as best as you can. Very nice. Good. We're trying to strengthen up those small toe muscles. We're also trying to rewire the brain here, trying to get the brain to remake connections to the toes. And just like in my hand video where I explained why it takes so long for that hand movement to come back, um, same thing with the toes. So let's move on to our next exercise, which is toe grips. This is preparing us for those last two really challenging exercises. So here we're going to be digging those toes into the floor and then pushing out. Digging into the floor and pushing out. Into the floor and pushing out. Into the floor and pushing out. You're doing fantastic. Keep it going. Very nice. Keep it pushing, you're doing great. Very nice. And let's go ahead and get back into our towel toe curls. So this is where we are going to be pulling those toes in, pushing out, pulling toes in, 
pushing out and you're trying to straighten that blanket at the same time. This is stepping things up. This is requiring more control. You may not be at this point yet, and that's fine. If you are, I challenge you. How can you make this a little bit harder if you're at this point and you're trying to regain better control over this movement? So that might be gripping, lifting, pushing back down, and pushing out. That can also be a nice exercise for that ankle dorsiflexion as well if that's something that you struggle with. So we can sort of combine those different movements and get a little more bang for our buck there. Pull it out, push it down. Very nice, let's go into our last one which is the toe pickups. I'm again grabbing out my cough drop here. Grab your marbles, whatever you have. And we're trying to pick up, maybe starting with the big toe and dropping. Maybe we go to the smaller toes. Try to pick up and drop. And then work our way to the middle toes and drop. And again, if you're not there, you're starting with curled toes just like this, hard to get them out. Just try feeling that item underneath your toes. Can you feel it? Can you try and maneuver those toes around that item? You know, we don't have as much dexterity in our toes as we do in our fingers, but we do have some, and that's where some of this control is coming. Very nice, let's try that one more time. Pick and lift up and drop here. Excellent job today, everyone. Let's take a nice big deep breath together in through your nose and out through your mouth. Thanks for hanging with me through the end there. As always, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below if you'd like to sign up for the email list, which gives you free stroke recovery tips and motivational emails every week, as well as a free copy of my ebook. And if you find value in what we do and you're able, please consider donating to Post Stroke, either for a one-time donation via PayPal or by becoming a Patreon member, where in exchange for a monthly donation, you get access to cool perks like social media shout outs, behind the scenes footage, and even YouTube shout outs, of which I have one today. Thank you again to Doug C for continuing to contribute at our Empower level. We can't do what we do without you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.